I heard it's you can't use you can't use uh, Lloyd because I'll get. Uh, yeah, you just oh, you just revenge everything, of course. Yes. <laughs> Three, two, oh, that sounds disgusting. One, I think about go. it. And here we go, the the other Richter versus the Daisy. Oh, I see. Raza went to the salon, did his got his hair did, changed the hair color a little bit. Oh, but now we don't have power of friendship and love. We got flower I mean, power. Oh, yeah. Hippie power. You know what, Daisy would be a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that hair, God. Yeah, I, I, I see her being like, like, being like a twenty-something year old in the seventies. <laughs> All right. Well, are we gonna abuse Mr. Saturn? Okay. I mean, no. Mr. Saturn's gonna go all the way off stage into the depths. But you know, I like what uh, T3 Dome's doing. He's like setting up a nice, strong wall for Brazo. And good uh, call out on the dare right there to combo off of the uh, cross. Okay, a back air connect. And oh my God, that's a bomb! Go, you know, Razo just taking it. It's not really an early stock, but like that's a very, very like commanding stock to take right there. The RNG his way through the first stock. <laughs> uh, pulling out a Saturn and a Mr. and a and a bomb off. I'm gonna say Mr. Bomb off. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, Razo just wants to end everything right now. Hey man, you gotta give the man some credit. You're making great use of those peach those bombers. I think he just did side V three times in a row. I mean, he lost the stock for it, but I'm pretty sure he did that. <laughs> it seemed to be working for a little bit. Here we go with the Richter. You know, just kind of playing back, playing defensive, you know, not letting Peach get in as much as possible. Yeah, floating across. Just completely avoiding the Holy Cross. Now retreating back to the ledge, getting the turnip out. Converting into a dash attack. Ooh, nice punish off to the down air. Ooh, getting punished for that dash attack, and this is gonna be the edge guard. No, just swings right underneath the turn up. Yeah, great timing from T3 Dome, keeping it stuck. He's at 160%. Holy water to down smash, not enough. I'm surprised he down smashed instead of up smashing right there. Oh, that's unfortunate. You know he wanted a tether, but he caught the... Did he pull out his... Oh my god, Razo, please. A bomb bomb, a stitch, and a Saturn in the Saturn. same game. Yep, sounds about right. That sounds like Razo. Eh, eh, this is just another day for Razo. Okay, a forward air connection. The bomber does as well. And that's it. Oh no, I lied. He... I am amazed at how far away that tether can recover. Yeah, not only can it recover very far, but T3 Dome used his spot dodge to just stop the momentum. Keep himself in the game. But Razo able to clean up game one. 1-0 one Razo here in winners finals. Alright, so you said that Dome plays Mega Man as well as Ken. I mean, I definitely don't see him pulling out the Mega Man not in this matchup. I feel like Mega Man would work. I mean... For, for, how pretty good, good. <laughs> for how good his Richter was and for how... Is there a big gap between his Richter and Mega Man? It's not a huge gap, but it's a noticeable gap. Okay. Like, you're, you're not going to see him pull out the Mega Man unless he gets, like, absolutely destroyed as Richter. Okay, well, this is best five. You know, anything's possible. Anything is possible. Dreams can come true, Tempo. Three, two, My dream is to see a Mega Man in oh, Winners Finals. So we'll see. Maybe maybe Dome makes it happen. Maybe Dome doesn't. Well, starting game two on Battlefield. Look at this wallet. That one's pretty good. And Raza just struggling to get back on the stage. You know? That's right. Rinse and repeat. Holy water and holy cross. No reason to throw anything else besides those two. Oh, but Man just to sneak in a hit and gets a full combo off of that. He can try to catch their tether recovery to finish out that amazing combo. Ooh. Ooh, sneaks in that uh, side B right there. 
You know what? Richter's just throwing out all these walls. Uh, I feel like the, the battlefield, just because it's a smaller stage, so he's able to, you know, keep control of the center stage more often. Make it harder for Raza to get in any normal get ups. Why would you normal get up ever against Richter? Well, you may have to ask him yourself a little bit later on. You can see the approach continues for Raza. He's having a little bit of difficulty just weaving through all these projectiles that Dome is throwing out. Hey, not going to get the snipe. Allow Dome to make it back to stage. Oh, but that parry in the up air is not going to be enough. But, I mean, 154 is going to be enough percent to do a lot of damage with the fair or back throw. And there's an air. Yeah. Nair does connect with 51% on the Raza. We both know that's only one Peach combo, and that right. percent's even. Oh, smashed up the Holy Water. But you know, it catches the jump from the ledge, and you know, the three dome is just setting up a whole lot of pain. A wall right there, a wall of pain. Okay, now the border connects. 23% now. I like that Dome did in fact pick Battlefield because, uh, like you were saying, it is a little bit of a shorter stage, so these long projectiles are going to be just you know that much more of a threat. But it also limits the vertical or the horizontal. No, right. The, the vertical approach is from Amazo. It limits how he's going to be able to float in. You know, he's kind of using those platforms almost like a shield too, because you have to yes. go through the platform as well. Exactly. It's almost reminiscent of how DeBuzz used to use these platforms in Smash 4. So, you know, take notes. Take notes, all you Belmonts. Going for the dare to fair, and here's the axe. No, he, or Daisy just floating right into it. Okay, down throw into back air. Gets the grab off of the fair. Yet again, El Razo really struggling to find this kill. Holy Warden converting into a Nair. Oh, and just like that, converting off of the, the cross into the up air. That's right. The returning hit of cross. Dome putting himself on the board. No 3-0 in winners finals. Yeah. Dome thing like I know you have experience against against Nitro. I'm not him. I'm gonna be better than him. That's right. Be better. They always strive to be better. Uh, Nitro won. Or sorry. Nitro. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. You had it right. Nitro. Nitro. <laughs> Nitro 2.0 won. <laughs> 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 God, I, and I'm, I'm really good friends with all the ECI guys, and I know they're just gonna have, like go like, what the hell, man? Confusing those two? How dare you? Yeah, how dare you confuse two players who use the same exact character in the same skin? Uh, I believe Nitro uses the black. The see, they're so similar, I couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah there was a, a joke made that uh, Soul X kind of looks like uh, Sam Swore and they both play Peach. So, oh God. Yeah. I can't even see that. <laughs> okay, well, you see uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, a little bit of a longer stage now, with the platforms being more towards like the, just just outside the center of, each, of the stage. Um, Dome's not gonna be able to set up shop on anything. All right, but I mean, look at all this shield damage. You know, Daisy is just slowly getting whittled away right here. Might be time to bring out Peach again. Here we go. There and the dash attack. But you know what? That's not the quite strong uh, Daisy combo that we were looking for here. Ooh, I like that combo. You know, really utilizing the platforms to extend it with the, the down B. Okay, another back here connects. Jumping from the ledge, you know, it's really resulting in, in Dome being able to escape these ledges. And all these bears makes it really hard for Raza to get in. Get another bear. Oh, and the last hit of downer doesn't connect. Dome able to escape and make it back to stage. Now, 
setting up his back airs, forward airs, and F tilts. Seeing a lot more whip play from 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 Dome than we are seeing projectiles. I mean, that's just a sign of a good Dome on. like how how well are they able to use their whips? That is their best tool. You know? Ooh, Dom phase. Yeah. And there's the Saturn. And I bet any moment we'll just see the Beam Sword be revived from the dead. Oh, I'm not going to be able to quite reach for the grab, but the down tilt will reach, and no, getting hit with the cross, too. Oh, no, that was a really bad act, and he dies for it. Wow. Dash attack is so strong. I mean, I would say it's like Daisy's like only good burst option. Because otherwise, like, you hope, like, she floats into a, a grab. I mean, those floats come out pretty quick. Yeah. And again, all these, like, bears and fairies and all that chain is just so oppressive. Damn, air connect. Now we see, oh, great use of the whole, oh, oh no. what? The snipe. He finally, I, I like what he did. He threw out the cross to avoid the first turn but unfortunately the second turn just wasn't enough. And why is he at 97? Why the hell? Oh my God. Eat your vegetables. He just died and he's already at 114. What just happened? Well, Brazo made great use of Z drops, forward throws, and, and was able to convert. Yeah. Toad, you know, eat, eat your vegetables, eat your mushrooms, because that's how you grow big and strong like Razo. Grow that full on mustache. Yeah. Hmm, Toad's looking pretty strong there. Yeah. Okay, so here we go to game. Four. Drag 2 1, Razo. Now that was looking really good for T3 Dome at the beginning, and it just went downhill so quickly. Three, two, one, I think Mr. Saturn's in At least for Dome. Like the second Razo pulls out the Saturn, like it just all goes to hell. Yep. <laughs> Dome not approaching as much here in game four. Well, he wasn't approaching as much, and he was really trying to force Razo to have to deal with the, the wall of whips. Now we see him like willingly approaching uh, Razo. I feel like those axes are like really good when Razo wants to float, but he can just go right underneath the axe super quickly with that side beam. No, no, just fares right through the holy water and he'll clean out that first stock right there. Oh, he, tried, he went for the 0 to 80. I saw that. He's like, what, what's the worst you're going to hit with? A B, forward tilt, maybe. That's true. Oh my <laughs> god. The parasol interrupting the F smash. And it just, it, you know, combo and I, I like the down there, he's like, let me get off this platform. I'm not getting grabbed and die like super early. Oh, this you know, Raza was looking forward to it. He was looking so pretty on that platform. Okay, and back throw coming from Dome. Now, air dodging through the axe, very smart. Even drifting back to make sure that uh, the Dome got, in fact, get hit by the Nair. Here we go, back to center stage, and you know what? That that's what Dome has been for the most part. He's like he's been center stage, but then Razo just kind of breaks through one. that with Do the. One. Okay. Yeah. Razo just keeps on breaking through with all these peach bombers. Oh no! Is that it? Yeah, that's yep. gonna be it. Okay, forward air and Dome's, you know, still in this fight. He slowly can rack up the damage. I mean, we've seen other Belmonts do it quite quite a bit. Or even though they'll be down so far, you're just able to keep their opponent at bay and slowly bring back the deficit. Oh, here's the fair into 
neutral D? Interesting. I mean, maybe if he had jumped, like, but it wouldn't have killed. Like, it's strong. It does a lot of damage, but it's not that strong. Oh, tries to up D to punish that, but unfortunately not going to be enough. And he just oh, gets okay. oh. Mashed that up B. Yeah. Mashed the up B. That would have been just so unfortunate if he got Kim's right there. Just one shoe is all it took. Oh, but yet again, here we are. Even stocks. Okay, forward air into a second forward air. Oh, so he was looking for that four, third forward air to just end the set right there. He almost found it too, but now a couple F tilts into okay. an up air. Very smart, knowing that Brazo was going to try to avoid the Holy oh, Cross. Oh my god, if he had just held that for a little bit longer. He, oh no! Oh no! no no attack. Well, oh. you can imagine if T3 Dome had held that forward smash just a fraction of a second longer so you could get that damage. Like, he was making a comeback right there towards the end. Yep, but Razo, you know, able to whiff punish that F smash. Yep. Really put himself in the advantage state and then a very unfortunate missed tech from T3 Dome. And now we have Tatanator versus YMCA. You know, Tatanator being Mega and Tatanator being Soul X. So we have DK versus Bowser Jr. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it, I always like watching Tatanator play because you never, you're never sure which Tatanator you're going to get. Are you going to get the super combo heavy? 